I think out of all the courses I did at the OU, um, the one on quantum mechanics uh, was my favorite. That's SM358. And so I just wanted to show you what the course consists of briefly and um, give uh, give you my experience of it. Um, it's split up. Um, wave mechanics, uh, quantum mechanics and its interpretation is book two and book three is quantum mechanics of matter. Um, let me just take you through it. You get the various um, different formulae uh, on the front covers of all the books. Again, very similar to uh, what you would get for the uh, exam. And and then this is how it's broken down. Quantum revolution, Schrodinger's equation and wave functions. Uh, those are very important and best to understand them as early as you can. And then you get various different examples of um, the Schrodinger equation with particles in boxes. It introduces the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Uh, you have harmonic oscillators, wave packets and motion, scattering and tunneling, um, which is very interesting. And then at the end, in the last chapter of book one, very much like the electromagnetism book, you get um, uh, a mathematical toolkit. Um, complex numbers are very uh, important in this course. Um, as are, um, well, partial differential equations were also uh, important uh, and probability too. Also, um, calculus um, uh, integration, especially um, with spherical coordinates. Uh, so that's really what it, what it looks like. That's uh, book one. And uh, you can have a, a quick sort of look, flick through it there and see what, uh, what it has. Book two consists of um, Dirac notation uh, and um, you, you do quite a lot on eigenvalues um, and then angular momentum, spin angular momentum uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and you get another mathematical toolkit in the back of that. Oh, yes, uh, matrices are, are quite important too. Uh, and, of course, vectors always come in handy. Uh, so that's um, the second book, uh, which was, um, if I remember, was very enjoyable, actually. Yeah, so uh, have a look at some of this. They generally have quite a lot of examples, worked examples, which are very helpful. I found the worked examples were the most useful, uh, and the problems as well, were the most useful uh, aspect of the course. Really, it's you only understand it after you've done the problems. I don't know why um, that is, but that just seems to be the way it is. Um, and then this is book three. And yeah, we looked at the hydrogen atom. That was really interesting, the hydrogen atom. Um, and then there are approximation methods. They were very good, uh, variational method and perturbation methods. Uh, and then you go from a hydrogen atom to many electron atoms. Um, diatomic molecules, solid state physics, light and matter. Uh, and that is it. So uh, have a quick flick through that. Um, but I found this course just fascinating. Um, and it's just a shame that there isn't a follow on course, quantum field theory or something like that would, would have been a wonderful course to do. Um, but the OU don't offer it uh, at the moment. Maybe they will. Uh, one day, but uh, I would thoroughly recommend it. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed it very, very much, and I was very sorry when it uh, was over. Uh, as for the exam, uh, my experience was that doing past papers was the, the best way um, to prepare for the exam. Uh, I hope that's of some use. If you want to ask me any questions, you can um, do so uh, through YouTube, just comments on there and hopefully I will be able to get back to you.